Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 25th, 2020. So today, more good stuff. Hey, get in the flow, live your life, <laughs> let it be good. It says allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine. Let's be done, all right? Let's be done with that old way of thinking, the old way of processing things, right? I think for a lot of us, the old way of processing is, you know, hanging on to it, maybe holding a grudge or being in denial and pretending like it didn't bother you. You know, I mean, none of us really had it in the middle, right? <laughs> none of us really had a balanced approach to things. But when we're in this space of, I'm going to process in a different way. I'm going to see the light and dark of a situation. I'm going to be grounded and centered in my heart. I'm going to just not try to over plan my life. This is the biggest thing. I feel we do as well, that gets a, we get in our own way. We self-sabotage by going, okay, I'm going to manifest what I think is the right thing. But is that in alignment with your soul's contract? Is that maybe putting your free will over someone else's free will? If you have a family and you're like, I'm going to manifest living in Hawaii, for example, and maybe you live in Maine, <laughs> right? And your whole family... Maybe your whole family doesn't want to go there. I mean, this is kind of a silly example. I can't see that happening. I mean, Maine's gorgeous, but who doesn't want to be in Hawaii? But anyway, just hang with me here, okay? <laughs> Maybe you have kids that have friends in school, but you're the one that's going, no, this is what is right for me, so everybody else has to fall in. That's not being in the flow, okay? That's not manifesting from a pure place. So you, your synchronicity and your flow has to do with giving a little bit over to the universe and being in alignment with who, now if you're single and you're by yourself and whatever and you can manifest whatever and it doesn't, you know, override someone else's free will, that's a different thing. But again, are you manifesting from what you think, the mind, what you think you want or what would truly bring you happiness? That's what we're learning here. So when we back off of that and say, okay, universe, I'm just gonna stay in a good, beautiful energy. I'm gonna stay nice and open and receptive Show me how good life can be. Show me how much happiness there is. Show me what love can really be, right? Those kinds of things and being in that sort of frequency. So don't hang on too tightly. <laughs> don't over manifest what you think you want when your heart is telling you something different, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.